Man, like, you can't stop it. Yo! Stuck it! Hey, he deserved number one. He got it. He got it. He got it. Now, this is a guy that's too overpowered. What's good, everybody? It's your boy King Goes in. We're back again to react to another video. Hey, yo. <laughs> yes, sir. Today we got a special video, man. Hey, look. So today we'll be reacting to top 10 badass movements in anime. Perfect. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You already know what's up, man. Look, there's a lot of badass movements in, in anime, bro. Like, you guys know what I'm talking about for sure. Now, I too have the power of a god. I got, I got, I got, I got loyalty inside my DNA. Can it? I got loyalty, I got loyalty inside my DNA I got loyalty, got war and peace inside my DNA I got loyalty, I got loyalty inside my DNA Shinra Tensei I was born in this as well Goku, um, Attacking Titan, Bleach, bro, bro, you don't know what I'm talking about, man, like, all the animes got all the actions in there, bro, like, there's a lot of anime with just so many good action scenes, bro, like, that's why it's anime, bro, not necessarily, though, because there's other type of anime out there, you don't know what I'm talking about, like, right, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> stop it, there be some crazy animes out there as well, but anyway, look, bro, I'm not finna talk too much on this, Let's just get straight into it. Let's see some action anime. Let's, you know, let's get, let's, let's get hyped for a moment because moments like this in anime gets me hyped, bro. Ah! You know what I'm talking about? Like, <laughs> enough talk. Let's get straight into it, man. Let go. Seven deadly sins on. All right. Anime is known for giving us a lot of emotions. But exactly. one of the famous ones is hype. I'm speaking about the hype you get when the savior comes to the rescue. The yes, badass sir. character shows yeah. his powers or yes, that sir. nicely choreographed fight scene that made your jaw drop to the floor. So, without further wait, let's see 10 of the best badass moments in anime let's go. history. Let's go, man. Number 10, Levi versus Levi's number 10? Remember the good old days when Wit Studio used to boast how good their animation is? Well, this scene is the prime example bro, of it. Oh my. Season 3 started oh off my with a political goodness, bro. Premise, but its second episode was all action and hype. Humanity's greatest Yo, look at this. against his shady The animation, bro. Oh what are the God. odds? Well, odds don't exist in a fight with Levi. He shows his skill with the vertical maneuvering equipment much better than in previous seasons as he uses the environment around him to both flee and right. attack the squad. Right, right. The numbers may be great, but Levi still has the way to become the star of the battlefield. Season 3 always shine the spotlight Can't on do Levi, that. and we're glad the season kicked off with one of the best scenes. He's an awkward man. You can't stop him. Yo! Number nine. Yo, Zoro that's crazy, bro. That that's that's crazy, bro. This. I I feel like this should not be number nine, bro. I'm gonna be real with you. This scene right here. This this is this is epic. That we all like Zoro simply because of his sheer charisma, stubbornness, and badassery. And in the Zoro is just part, all badass, bro. How this should not be number nine. Sacrifice from, for friendship. From being real, this, when this Zoro be tries to fight nine. instead of Luffy, Kuma offers him a deal: take all Luffy's pain and implant. This scene himself. alone doesn't just represent now, badass. This represents loyalty, bro. You suddenly, for real, you'd be having second thoughts, no matter how close you are to your friends. But Zoro, being Zoro, doesn't hesitate even one moment. Once again, right. we're shown why we like this energetic swordsman in the first place. That's a real one right there. Lemillion versus Overhaul and Minions. 
Oh man, this this is good. Woo! Bro, this scene was good as well, bro. The characters of My Hero Academia always know how to give off good first impressions. I mean, right? who doesn't like Lemillion? He's like that cheerful yeah, big brother we tough. always need. And when things turn upside down, he turns to this exact same copy of Midoriya and refuses to give up. You're pitted against one of the underworld's strongest and most powerful criminals. But Lemillion isn't about to run away. He knows how much overall had hurt Aerie, and he won't let that happen ever again. Even after knowing the risk of fighting overall, Lemillion never gave up and gave the fight everything he's got. He may not have gotten the main character spotlight, but mm -hmm. let's not forget what he had done. It was because of him Deku managed to ultimately take down Overhaul. Right. Mm -hmm. Number 7. Sinbad Saves Everyone Wait, what's this? I'm, I, I ain't never seen this anime before. I don't know. Is this good, y'all? Sinbad is like the Zoro of Magi. When the situation okay. calls for it, he doesn't hesitate to show off his power. And he not only Animation knows how to save good. everyone, but he also knows how to make an epic entrance. Yes, I'm speaking of those moments when everything is desperate, things are turned upside down, the tension is high, and everyone is waiting for some savior to appear from the sky. And this time, he literally appears from the sky and then launches one of his most powerful Whoa. attacks to strike down the enemy. One Piece fans may claim they have Zoro, but Magi fans can yell back saying they have Sinbad. Because okay. when he enters the battle, everyone knows it's best to run away. i never seen this before. It looks kind of good though. Number 6. Aaron's Attack on Paradis This is number 6 man? Come on now man. Speaking about entrances, we cannot forget Aaron's epic entrance in Liberio. Right. Okay, perhaps epic is the last word you can use to explain it. Because rather than hyped up screams and bombastic soundtrack, we got a scene of massive carnage and immense brutality. Aaron managed to prove to us that he isn't the same bro, boy that existed three years ago. His character development was cold -hearted. different, bro. No one could stop him. Not the like Jaw Titan, different person, Hammer bro. Titan, and not even the entire Marleyan military, which learned all of that within one night. It's funny how Marley claimed they had the most powerful military, yet couldn't take down one Titan shifter alone. This was the moment where things turned upside down and the anime bro, took another step forward crazy, in lifting the bro. stakes and tension. Ah. Five, Ichigo interrupts Rukia's execution. My man Ichigo. You are to this was really epic, bro. This scene right here, oh my god, I was so hyped, bro. Time. The Soul Society arc is still one of the best Bleach arcs up to date. Mm -hmm. You've got the main character power up, one of his friends about to be executed, and as always, gaining some new allies and rivals along the way. However, everything Ichigo learned now plays to his advantage. Everything the arc build up climaxes in this execution of Rukia. And she would be hot toast if our main character didn't step up to save her. Right. And Ichigo, just like many other characters in this list, always knows how to make an epic entrance and then say some cool words to show how he's the main character of the story. Yeah, Ichigo is such a badass though. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, he's badass. Number four, Saitama destroys Meteor. Of course. Of course he's there. Saitama is too OP, bro. I can't Over wait for our next season, season to come out. Saitama one punch a lot of things, but it was a truly spectacular showcase of power when he punched hard to gawk the mouths of two of the most powerful S-Class heroes. So, mm -hmm. the city's in danger, again. And this time, it isn't the King of Crocodiles or some brain-dead monster. This time, it's a meteor. Metal Knight does a very bad job trying to stop it, and Genos as usual is nothing but useless. 
but all hope isn't gone. Whoa, in don't say that about my man, Jennings. Come on now, man. He dashes up into the sky and destroys the meteor in one finishing move. And what's so cool about that? The guy didn't seem to use any effort at all. It's too OP, bro. Like, it's, it's just too powerful, bro. Number three, Escanor versus Estor. Escanor, bro. Oh, shit. Yo, this scene was so crazy, man. Now, if you watch this fight without the plot twist on this scene was in too this much, fight bro. Looked like two overpowered guys trying to kill each other. Right, I, I was like, who's gonna win? But, but Escanor, bro, you know Escanor, two characters OP, are bro. capable of, or if you know what Escanor is capable of, then this is gonna be a hype moment for you. Yo, the this man got too much pride, and then proceeds to Escanor, showing the consequences of picking a fight with him. This time, Escanor finally seems to have met his match. Since mm -hmm. the commandment showed well, well, some no, resistance no, no, to his attacks, no. but when Escanor said Does die no with that cold-hearted gaze, we already knew who the victor of the fight was. Woo! Bro. Two, All Might arrives to save his students. This was a good scene. But I didn't think this was going to be number two though, right? But this was a good scene, don't get me wrong. What's the point of a mentor if he can't save his students? And let's not forget we're speaking about the world's strongest hero. At least he was the strongest back in the day before he transformed into a skinny goat looking man. <laughs> but when All Might was still considered to be the greatest hero, he was never hesitant to save everyone from danger. So when his favorite class and his favorite student gets trapped by the League of Villains, he didn't hesitate to jump into action. He has a Nomu in his way, but who cares? This is All Might, the guy who goes beyond and slams a plus ultra punch to send his mm. opponent flying into the sky. So yeah, this moment was pretty badass if you ask me. For sure. That's tough. Number one, Satoru Gojo's oh. arrival. Oh, <laughs> this man, bro. Hey, he deserved number one. He got it. He got it. He got it. Now, this is a guy that's too overpowered. Talk about epic anime entrances. Talk about epic car mm -hmm. flexes. Talk about epic anime attacks. And in all of these cases, you cannot and should definitely not miss Satoru Gojo. He enters like a god, attacks like a god, and is still alive in the end to brag like a god. Last time he showed us what he could do with domain expansion, oh, and this time he showed us what his hollow purple attack looks like. And similar to Saitama, the guy seems really yep. cool after the Very attack. Very similar to like Saitama. He just took a walk in the park and nothing happened. His attitude, his level of coolness, the it's way like he's he not even trying, bro. The way he shows off his power is what made us fall in love with Gojo Sensei. And once again, he managed to prove he excelled at winning our attention. Bro. So there goes our picks for the 10 best right. badass moments in All anime. Right. These are the moments that showed us why anime is unique as a medium. As usual, hey, if you enjoyed the video, that's don't a, forget to subscribe hey, and hit the bell notification. He, got, so he definitely got number one. <laughs> He's too powerful, bro. Like, for real. But look, I know there's more than this. There's probably way more badass moments seen that deserve number one. There's probably fighting for number one spots. But there's just too many good ones, bro. Like, it's anime, you know what I mean? But hey, look. Anyway, there you guys have it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. And hope you guys have a great 4th of July. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.